Assalamualaikum and hi, we are from team t 99 ers will be presenting for our Alum Noodle Corner web application for SE Lab project. So we are going to present about problem statement, proposed system, project objective, project perspective, use case diagram, class diagram, component diagram, state chart, and project demo. The pandemic situation caused the business going downhill during MCO. Client depends on social media platform to do business. All ages customers are facing difficulties. During CMCO and RMCO, sales had dropped 60% every month. This project aimed to develop a web based business for Alum Noodle Corner by developing an online ordering system web application. The system will be used by customers and administrator, which is our client. Administrator will be authorized by the system and able to manage the application while customers only allow to order or search for food available in the system. The system will also be made user-friendly to target all age of users. The main purpose for developing this web application is to simplify the ordering process and focus on the food services. Besides, through this web application, Heirloom Little Corner can explore a new market as it will reach more and further customer instead of the customers that live nearby the restaurant. Users on this web application can check the types and prices of noodles through the menu. They also can select the foods they want and place an order. After completing the selection, the user can proceed to check out to complete the order. In the checkout section, user will be able to choose between self pickup or de delivery option so that they can receive their order. Users can choose between cash, cash payment or online payment when they proceed to purchase the order. If the user choose to use online payment, the user will be given a variety of online payment options. When the user successfully place an order, the system will send an, a formal order receipt to the customer's email with the user's order details. Level 1 shows the details of system environment for the heirloom middle corner web application. All the hardware and software shown in table 1 were used in development phase of the web application during the development phase. The Heirloom Noodle Corner web application mainly was built using a software platform known as Wix. Wix is a web development platform that can help us to develop a website for our client rapidly. This platform web hosting is also said to be very secure and fast. Therefore, it will be less worries for our client to use the websites for business operation. I am Xiani Ming. I will present for the part project objective and project perspective. The objective of our project are to study and analyze the existing problem faced by our client in their current business, to design and implement the specification and requirements requested by the client and produce the best system, to test and evaluate the system to make that the pre-ready system able to satisfy all the needs and expectations requested by the client and it also be able to work as properly as it should be. Able to produce a new system and to ensure that it is operating correctly and smoothly and up to the expectation of the client. Project perspective. This is the context diagram of Helium Noodle Corner web application. There are two entities, customer and administrator. Customer can access the system through the some devices such as laptop, smartphone, and PC with the condition of having internet access. Customer can view the menu from the system. After the customer decided what to order, they are able to select, select 
their preferable noodle and place an order. Upon placing an order, customers are requested to choose whether to pick up the order themselves or the delivery service. Customers will proceed with payment after the customer successfully placed an order. The system will generate and send an order receipt to the customer's provided email. When a customer places an order, the, the administrator of the system, which is our client, will receive a notification containing the details of the order. Other than that, the administrator also able to manage the menu, receive orders, and view the summary sales report. This is our use case diagram for heirloom noodle corner web application. For our use case diagram, we have two actors, which is customer and administrator, and 14 use cases. On the customer part, we customer can register to the web apps. After the registration done, customer can log in. Next, customer can view menu, view shopping cart, company's information, view order history, and leave a review. For the review part, customer can have the option to review the service and product or continue to shopping. Once the customer place an order, customer can check out and make payment and will receive email notification regarding the invoice. For admin part, admin can log in, can manage product, manage orders, view sales report and receive email notification. Next is our class diagram. Our class diagram consists of six classes and three subclasses. The user class have two operation, which is login and register. The purpose of user class is to allow the customer to register and login into the system and to verify the existing user. Once the user is verified, the user can create order, which will keep all the information of the order into the database. Next is Card class. The operation of the card class can allow the user to view card, name of product, edit card, edit to card, and proceed checkout. For payment class, it has three operations, which is pay, generate receipt, and send email. The payment class also consists of three subclasses, which is online payment transfer, credit card, and cash on the delivery. The item class will display all the items which has been referred from the card and the admin part will handle all the items. The admin part can add product, view product, delete product, update product, view sales, view sales and view order history. Lastly, the admin will handle the order created by the user. This is the component diagram of the Heirloom Noodle Corner web application. We start from the rightmost component, the heirloom noodle corner DB, or just DB for the database of the web application. This component provides and requires information from and to the components as needed. For example, the login components require user account or admin account info, depending on which account wants to login from the DB for login access. The D DB also requires certain info. For example, the DB requires change apply info for menu component. If the admin want to modify the menu inside the system or order entry info from order online component to update the orders in the database. Besides that, the menu component also provides product menu, product menu info to the order online component. And the order online component provides all the detailed info to payment component. This is used, for example, in invoices or order details, for example. The two leftmost components, the customer and the heirloom to the admin component, is dependent on all the central components. It is in a dependency relationship. For example, if the two components want to access login to the site, they are dependent on the login component who will retrieve the, the corresponding account details whether it is customer account or admin account details from the DB 
component to enable logging in to the system. Similarly, for example, if the admin want to update the menu, then the hello admin will be dependent on menu. And in return, the menu component will will send the change apply info, that is the change in menu to the database so that the new menu is stored in the hello noodle corner database component next we will talk about the state diagram good morning madam my name is Kosi and my matrix number is 66399 today i will present my parts for the stat chart the figure show the overview of Ethereum noodle corner system in stat chart diagram when the system is turned on it will be in an idle state. If any trigger is met, the system will change its current state at idle to login state to read user input. The login state of the system will be shown in the next slide. The figure show the login state chart diagram. In the login state, users should enter their emails and password to log into the system. After the user enter their inputs, the system will validate the inputs. If it is an invariant input, user will be redirected to the login state to re-enter their inputs. If the inputs are valid, user will be logged into the system. The figure show the customer stat chart diagram. Often successfully log the Hiram Nodal Corner web application, the general user will have an option to log in or view the website as an observer example view business information. However, if the user logs into the web application, there are some events that can be triggered by the user. First, the user browses the menu and view the product. The user can add the product to their shopping cart if the user wants to purchase the product. The user can view or update the cart by either update, review, remove, or add another product inside the shopping cart. Third, if the user satisfies with their cart selection, the user can proceed to check out. The last one, the user can also view business information just as an external login, not login user. On the event of checkout, the user will be prompt to fill in the detail of the purchase, for example, identification, billing address, payment details, and others. Then the payment event is triggered. If the payment is not valid, the system will ask for a new payment details. But if it is valid, then the system will generate a print invoice and an email notification will be sent to the user. The figure show the admin stat chart diagram. The admin must enter their username and password to log into the system. If the admin fail to log in, the admin would need to retry again. If the admin successfully log into the management patch of the Heorum Nodal Corner web application, the admin will be redirected to the dashboard patch. There are few events as below. Admin can use, add, view, edit, delete operation to manage the product that on the customer website. The admin can handle customer order by viewing and editing customer orders. The admin can view the sales report by month or year. In the event of using add, view, edit, delete operation, the database will save any change made and update it to the dashboard patch. If the admin log out from the admin patch, the system will exit successfully. That's all from me. Thank you. My name is Kyo Ga Hui. I will present the Helium Noodle Corner System customer site. This is the main page of the system. Click this button and we'll go to the login page. If user does not have an account, can click the register here to create a new account. User must enter all details required in this page and agree the term of use before click the submit button to complete the registration. If the user already has an account, can click the sign in now and go to the login page. User must enter the correct email and password to log in the system. Then user can click the menu from the menu bar and go to the food menu page. This is the food menu page of the system. User can view the type of food and the food details that provided by the restaurant. The user can click the order now button or the order online to start their ordering. 
In this page, user can click the Add to Chat button to add the food into the chat. User also can choose the type of noodles and the quantity of food they want. User also can click the quick views to view the food details and select the food. User also can add the food into the chat. Then you can click the view chat button and go to the chat page. In this page, user can view the food that content in the chat. User can delete the food from the chat and can edit the food details in this chat. They will show a subtotal price to user. After confirming the order, user can proceed to check out and make payment. This is the payment page of the system. User can view the order details and the total price they need to pay. User must enter all details required in the billing address part and the payment detail part. After enter or detail require and agree the term of use, click the pay button to complete the payment. Now the payment is complete, user can leave their opinions about the food and the service on the review page. Then user can click the continue shopping to go to the home page. Then click this button, user can view the profile information. Click the edit profile, user can edit. User can edit their profile name and the profile picture. User also can edit their detailed information. After edit the information, can click the update info button to update the information. Then, user can click the About to view the company background information and click the Contact to view the company contact information. And the last, click the Log Out button to log out the system. For addition, after user complete the payment, user will receive an automatic generated email sent by the system. This is the email received by the user. It's been my scene, and now I'm going to present the admin site for the admin login. Admin need to click on this admin login to log in. Admin will direct to this login page where admin need to enter the correct email and password. After the admin login, admin will lead to this dashboard page. Admin can always view the orders made by the customer clicking on this order. This is the pending orders made by the customer and this is the product information. Admin can confirm the orders by clicking on this confirm button. After the admin confirm the orders, admin need to generate invoice for the customer. New invoice. Enter the customer info. Enter the product purchased by the customer. Then save changes. This is the invoice created for the customer. And admin can send the invoice to the customer via email. Confirm sending. Then the status of the invoice will change to send.
and then can always resend the invoice by clicking on this resend via email and after the customer paid for the orders and then can always add payment for the invoice confirm payment then the status will change to paid and then can always view the review made by the customer clicking on this review this is the reviews made by the customer food rating service rating and the date created and we can also edit add or delete the product by clicking on this this is the product page add new product to add on new product delete the product by clicking this delete button and editing editing the product by clicking on the previous product change the image change the name and we can also change the status from in stock to out of stock save changes and the inventory status here will change to out of stock and we can also view the sales report by clicking this this is the sales total sales number of orders made and the average order after admin confirm the order user will receive an invoice this is the invoice received by the user click the view invoice button user can view the invoice and can click this button to print the invoice